Hey guys, what is going on? This is iAppleGeek, and in this video, I want to share with you guys 10 tweaks that I think are the absolute best tweaks you can possibly get on iOS 10.2. Now, obviously, this is my own opinion, but I did think that these tweaks were really, really cool. You guys should totally check these out. The first tweak I've got for you guys is called HUD Player. Basically, it replaces the ugly volume heads-up display when you adjust your volume with something that looks like this. However, there's something special about this player. If you're playing a song, no matter what app it is, so once I start playing the song and I come out and try to adjust the volume, you guys can see that there's the song name, album art, and the artist name right there on the volume bar. This is awesome. The color of this bar will automatically change according to what song is currently playing. So here's another great song. As you guys can see, the color will match the album artwork. Next up, we have the holy reincarnation of one of the most classic tweaks for jailbreaking, and that is Spring to Mice 4. I know it's been out for a little while, but I just wanted to share this with you guys because it is so awesome. Spring to Mice 4 allows you to customize basically every single aspect of your device. So let me just go over one of my favorites here is the animations. You can set a custom speed for the animations, overall system animations. And you can see there's a lock animation right here. And if I change the explode, I don't think this was here before. If you lock your device, boom. And one of my favorites, the old TV. If you turn off, you can have a little animation when you turn off your device. Of course, that's just only one section of all of these settings that are in here. You can adjust the dock. You can have a cover flow effect on the icons, as you guys can see here. My dock is hidden as well. That is due to Spring to Mice 4. If you like to customize your device to make it unique, you will like this tweak. Next week, we have Lock Glyph X. Basically, this tweak will allow you to have that Lock Glyph from iOS 9. It ports it over. This will give you that little Apple Pay animation when you unlock your device. It's a really nice tweak. Next up, we have Confero 2, and this basically allows you to have a better notifications experience. As you guys can see, there's a little icon in my status bar. If you tap on this, you will see the notifications that you currently have. If you want to look at this notification, you just swipe down on the icon, and you can read this notification. If you want to clear it, of course, just hit the little X two times. Or if you just want to look at it, if you have a plus size device, this will definitely be awesome. Just hit the open button and you can see the app right there. And you don't even have to exit what you're doing. You can just hit the home button and you'll be back to whatever app you were just at. So if I was in my settings app, I tap the little icon, come down here, and I can run a second app right there. And there's even a dark mode for this. You can change it in the settings app. Next up, we have Hortus. This tweak basically allows you to have a little bounce to your animations in iOS. So if you guys can notice the little bounce when I open up my icons, this is what Hortus does for you. Next up, we have Polis. This is a much more advanced version of a Flip Control Center. So if you swipe up on your Control Center, you can see that I have a Snapchat app down here. What? And you can scroll around. I've got my wallet, iMessage. I even have access to hidden applications like the Print Center. If you ever print anything from your phone, you see here, no documents waiting. Inside of Polis, you can actually add icon packs from Cydia. But the majority of the settings are located under Configuration. And in here, you can set the icons you can add new icons by hitting the add button and if apps aren't your thing to keep in the control center you can switch to toggles you can add your settings in here or you can create a custom one using activator so that is the bottom shelf i can also customize the top shelf as you guys can see there are a ton of toggles in here swipe up i can go to the second page polis is an amazing tweak if you guys use control center on your phone you definitely have to have this one Next up, we have Share Anywhere. So when you take a screenshot on your device, you may not want to just save it to your camera roll because you you know you're gonna have to delete it sometime in the future. So if I wanna show you, oh, my pages are flipping, that is cool. You can just hold there and take a picture real quick and there's a, there's a little share sheet here. You can either hit save or if you just wanted to send it to someone, you don't wanna save it to your phone, just hit the share button and you can send it, email it, edit it to notes, or send it to myself. This goes very well with my next tweak, screenshot banners. So when you happen to select the save option, or if you don't have Share Anywhere installed, and if you save a screenshot, it will give you a banner instead of 
that annoying flash on your screen. Screenshot banners is really awesome. You can just see screenshot saved and then you can go into your camera roll to take a look at it. Next up we have the return of another classic tweak and this is called Status Peak 2. It's been updated for iOS 10 and basically when you're in an application, a game or anything where the status bar does not show at the top, you can just simply pull down from the top of the screen and see it right there which is really neat and if you pull down again you'll get your notifications. Next up we have Do Not Disturb My Music, D&D My Music. It basically adds that Snapchat functionality. If you go into your camera and you go to take a picture or a video, it won't stop the music. So as you guys can hear, the music is still playing even though I am recording a video. Alright, time for the bonus tweaks. Number one, we have Moose. If you guys notice here, when I type, my cursor is green. And if we look at the moose settings, we can change the colors to like red or something like that. And it will update. So here in Safari, you can see that my cursor and my selection tool thing is red. And if you have a current theme going on your device, or if you have dark mode enabled, this will just look really nice. Ring UI allows you to have a squarish passcode lock pad on your lock screen. And if you have a square phone, that this just might work perfectly. Now, quick dial light will allow you to hold on a button in the phone keypad to quickly call a number. So if quick dial isn't your thing, try quick flash on for size. And this is the flashlight button you guys have seen down here. Enables the flashlight just by tapping on it. Very, very simple tweak. All right, you guys, that'll be it for this video. If you guys seen any tweaks that I didn't mention, be sure to go check out some of my previous videos and I will have that linked in the description. And until next time, peace.